All right, how's it going, family? Give me a back minute here. So, just like that, we're in the middle of the year. It's July 1st, top of the day today. Hope everybody, hope everybody is having a wonderful day. If you're on vacation, y'all have a nice time. Be safe, be vigilant, and everybody get home safely. Now, I thought I'd have like a little talk with the family about a couple of things, okay? Um, if you guys are probably liking sports or like to look at your favorite sports shows and all that, okay? Uh, this just came down like yesterday evening. I mean, I was really, really shocked to see this. But then again, I warned about this. Now, uh, ESPN has fired uh, a bunch of people. Uh, I understand about 20 people. Max Kellerman, uh, Jalen Rose, a few other guys. I just can't, can't think of their names right now. Uh, Keyshawn Johnson. But it's mainly those, those three uh, that's been fired, okay, and, and, many, and many others, all right, that are fairly close to those Uh, sports pundits there, okay? As part of, what is it? The the cutbacks. Now, one thing about this channel is I do encourage, like I say, even if you do work for somebody, to try to get some type of hustle for yourself, to have some type of uh, self-autonomy to a fault, okay? So that way... And it's for reasons, and that and that reason is because when, if you know, they say when stuff hit the fan, that is, maybe you'll have something to fall back on, okay, that you could do temporary, or maybe you can do it permanent. All right, you never know when, you know, something to keep your resume up, and maybe when they do see, all right that you can hold your own, then they'll probably want to, you know, pick pick you back up. But that's your decision if you want to to do that. Now, I've for me, you know, I work in the gig industry. I'm self-employed. For I'm using myself for an example. Uh, transportation, I've been doing this for six and a half years. And I'll probably make a little bit less money, but I get to control my own schedule and so forth. All right, but uh, I don't have to worry about smelling like fuel because I worked with, I did a lot of CDL work, particularly with f uh, fuel supply, for 20 years before I got out of that in 2016 and got into, again, the, the gig work. And I've done several videos on that, about four of them, where uh, about working for like Amazon Flex, Rody, uh, Dispatch. Actually, for one month, I got the National Employee of the Month, okay, in 2021. Then they turned around and suspended me. But I got reinstated, though. And I do Uber. So I'm able to put the four together. And, you know, I, I can enjoy doing self, you know, being self-employed. Now, it's going to be probably a little bit of work. It's going to be time-consuming. But like I say, you are your own boss. That's, you know, how inevitably you like to be. You know, so try to find a way to maximize, uh, to, uh, optimize your your thinking abilities and your skills to where you can maybe make a passive income or, or full-time income. Now, for these guys, all right, uh, that like Max and uh, can't think of the other white boy, uh, his name, okay, tried to be a rapper back in the day. Uh, you guys know who he is, all right? Uh those guys pretty much have been pundits for 15 years. I enjoy a lot of Jalen Rose work and, and, and Max and all that. Max is a pretty smart guy, all right? And I think that Max probably, could, he can end, back, end up on another network of some sort, all right? Uh, also, Jalen, you know, he has a very high basketball IQ, 
okay, with him going to Michigan and those guys doing their thing, you know, with the five, uh, five, five freshmen. In fact, I just spoke with somebody about those guys just uh, today, and you know, with him having a long career in the NBA and all that, okay, Keyshawn, also Super Bowl winner, okay, I listen to his show sometimes in the morning on the radio, okay, so those guys, I'm pretty, pretty sure if they want to, they can get uh, a podcasting job or they can just start their own channel on outlets like YouTube or, you know, another outlet. I don't know, FanDuel TV. I don't know if they have the other one, DraftKings TV, some type of network, okay? But I warned, again, because of the cutbacks. I think I warned about this back in January that ESPN was going to do these cutbacks. Also, because remember, the banks has raised interest rates. And that does affect the uh, commercial or the corporate world because, all right, then they have more bills they have to pay. They, yeah, because they have bills they have to pay. So they have to cut back on uh, uh, on, on payroll. That's how they have to do. You know, it's more of a business thing, a b business type thing. Now, Stephen A. Smith gets to keep his job. For now, I'm, uh, I may have mentioned this, that even Stephen A. Smith, the top guy probably in sports, him and Shannon, that's now on Fox. Those are the top two guys or whatever. But Stephen A. Smith's job at one time was in jeopardy. OK, and I think that he, that's why he went and started his own channel, because he don't know when his time is going to come. He admitted to it, you know, so. But now he gets he gets to stay. But the thing that really gets me is I'm not really keen about the the way the he's like ESPN is going that's owned by Disney and also sports. I think it's still still very exciting to watch. But now from looking at other guys or whatever that's talking about uh, this topic. They're talking about putting rappers and celebrities, okay, on these shows or whatever. Permanently, they're talking about football and basketball, hockey and all that, okay? Because it's all about raising up the ratings instead of you getting that quality uh, sports-specific topic, okay, that's dealing with the sport, okay? And I think that's going to be a lot of turn uh, turn off for a lot of people, but... That's just the way that the direction that they're going now. Okay, so if you want to get the content that you want, you may have to go to one of these more independent outlets that I just told you about. I think with the streaming TV now, okay, like things like YouTube TV, there's a few others, Peacock, and I don't know, uh, that the, uh, let's see, what's Pluto TV uh, and others, other outlets, that's probably the, the direction that a lot of these podcasters, once again, are going to be going to. But I'm pretty sure, you know, they should have made enough money to where they, you know, can check out and they are able to do it. And I, I know these guys can do it. Okay. So, I mean, guys like I think Paul Pierce, he's not really hurting for money. So, uh, but they will be missed on ESPN. I, I've enjoyed probably watching those guys over the last 15 or 20 years, okay? And that's what I would just encourage you to do. If, Like I say, if you can, try to find an independent way, okay, to be your own boss. But let me let you go, all right? Thank you for your time. Like, subscribe, share. Check out some of my other videos. Cash app, dollar sign, what's this, 5 e and if there's any information, misinformation I put out or anything you wanted to add on to it, feel free to respectfully leave it in the comments box or whatever. Okay. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. Peace.